Good morning, or excuse me, good afternoon, Math Masters and Math Wizards. Had a busy morning today, had a few had a meeting to go to for school, so got a little late start on our Eureka Math lesson. Um, for those of you that were at school on, your Math Masters that were school, at school on, um, last time we met, March the 13th, it was a Friday, this is probably your last worksheet you have out of your problem set. set. It's Lesson 22, Module 5, page 183. And so please try to get some scratch paper because that's really all you'll need um, for the rest of the school year. Um, so our directions here are um, draw a tape diagram to match each number sentence, then complete the number sentence, all right? So we have three plus one third, and go ahead and get out your piece of scratch paper and write this down. Three plus one third equals. So they want us to do a tape diagram. So we have three holes. One, two, whoops, that's a terrible, and three. And then we have another third, okay? So I'm gonna put, let's put it over here. And let's make all of these thirds, okay? So this is what it looks like right now. Okay, so we have three holes, right? There's one. There's two. There's three, and then we have one third. So what's our total? And I know some of you are probably thinking, especially some of you math masters, well, Mr. Leggett, I knew right away it's just three plus one, one third, so it's three and one third. But please do the tape diagrams. I already know which one of you are out there saying, Mr. Leggett, I can do this in my head. But this is a good visual representation of what's happening. We have one hole, two hole, three hole, plus one third equals three and one third. Let's continue on to four plus three quarters, all right? So I'm gonna make four tape diagrams here. So this represents my four holes. So let's make them quarters. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna add on three quarters. One, two, three, and four. All right, so let's do our four holes. You're gonna get on Mr. Leggett, I already know the answer. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and do our tape diagrams. There's one, two, three. Remember, you can always pause this if you like. There's four holes. I forgot to put my equal sign up there. And now we're going to add on three quarters. One quarter, two quarter, Three quarters or three fourths. So what do we have here? Thank you, by the way, for uh, Emily, Kaylin, and Melody for sending me a photo of your um, spelling test. I really appreciate that. You know what made me think of the spelling test? Three quarters. Do we use a hyphen? You bet we do. When we spell that out. So let's go back to math. We have four holes. One, two, three, four plus three quarters. One, two, three. So it's four and three quarters. And that's it. And also remember, if you're on Google Classroom, you can take the quiz. And I know that Giovanni and Melody completed the quiz yesterday, so thank you. I haven't checked out today. Now you're thinking, okay, now let's look at this. This is where tape diagrams really going to help us with the subtraction, okay? So we have three minus one quarter. So let's do our three holes. One, two, and three. And what units am I going to make these? I'm going to make them fourths. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now you can see how helpful a tape diagram can be when we're subtracting a fraction from a whole number. So I'm going to go ahead and color all of these in to show my three. There's one. 
There's two. And there's three. So this three could actually represent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fourths, right? How many am I subtracting? I'm just subtracting one. So let's cross out one. What am I left with? Well, I could say I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fourths. But I could do a, a mixed number without having to do a number bond or anything. One, two, two and one quarter, two and two quarters, two and three quarters. Okay, let's go to the next one. It's five minus two fifths. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, and five. So there's my five. And what unit am I going to break them into? Well, since I'm subtracting fifths, let's break them into fifths. One, two, three, four, and five. 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 And because I like making things colorful, let's go ahead and color all these fifths in. One fifth, two fifth, three fifth, four fifth, five fifths, six fifths, seven fifth, eight fifth, nine fifths, ten fifths. 11 fifths, 12 fifths, 13 fifths, 14 fifths, 15 fifths, 16 fifths, 17 fifths, 18 fifths, 19 fifths, 20 fifths, 21 fifths, 22 fifths, 23 fifths, 24 fifths, 25 fifths. So 25 fifths are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right? What are we doing? We're taking away 2 fifths, right? So let's take away 2 fifths. Like that. What are we left with? One hole, two hole, three hole, four holes, and one, two, three, what? Three fifths. There we have it. All right, let's go into our next section. And go ahead and write these numbers down. Six, six and three eighths, and three eighths. And while you're writing that down, I'll read the instructions. It says use the following three numbers to write two subtraction and two addition number sentences. So two subtraction and two addition number sentences. Let's do that. Let's do the addition first. And I'll start off with six plus three eighths equals. And then I'll do six plus six and three eighths. Now let's do subtraction. 6 minus 3 eighths, because I can't do 6 minus 6 and 3 eighths because that's greater. And then we'll do 6 um, and 3 eighths minus 3 eighths. All right, so go ahead and hit pause now if you think you can do this on your own and then come check back. So if you think you can get this on your own, go ahead and hit pause and give it your best shot. If not, follow along with Mr. Leggett. So this one is like the first problem we did. We have a whole number plus a fraction. We just add them together. So we'd have six and what? Six and three eighths. Over here, <coughs> you might look and say, wow, this looks really difficult, but it's not that difficult if you look at it. Six plus six, okay? Let's just think about six plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we have? We have 12, right? So I'm going to cross those out and put my 12 here. What am I left with? The three eighths to add on. And three eighths. All right? Now, these subtraction ones are kind of difficult, like, like we, we, we did the tape diagrams to show, but let's just think about this. We have six holes and we're minusing three eighths. So what's one way we could approach this? Hmm. Well, I could think about, okay, this is gonna make this a five, right? So six minus three eighths is gonna be five and something. What would it be? Well, I have eight eighths minus three eighths would be five eighths, correct? So it'd be five and 
five eighths. And there you have it. And think about the opposite. Five and five eighths plus three eighths would be six, right? Because you'd have a five and eight eighths. Over here, this is pretty simple approach to this one. We could just say, okay, let's just do three eighths minus three eighths. What am I left with? Just with a six. All right. Let's head on down here. I hope I got this number right. I think that's eight and three sevenths. We have four sevenths and nine. So we're going to do two addition sentences and two um, subtraction. So let's do nine plus four sevenths. Go ahead and write that down. Then we'll do eight and two sevenths plus four sevenths. Those are our two addition sentences. Let's do the subtraction. Nine minus four sevenths. All right. And then we'll do, how about, mm, boy, either one of these are gonna be kind of difficult. Let's give it a shot and do eight minus, oh, eight and three sevenths minus four sevenths. Uh oh, what in the world will that be? Well, go ahead and pause if you want to try this on your own. If not, stick around with Mr. Leggett. And if you do pause and try this on your own, be sure to come back and check your answers. Make sure you got them right. So you have nine plus four sevenths. Well, it's just nine plus the four sevenths, and we wind up with nine and four sevenths. Now, let's look at this one. Let's add the fractions together. Remember, we don't change the denominator, but what's four plus, two plus four? Two, three, four, five, six. So we would have eight and six sevenths, because six sevenths is a greater than one. So we're still gonna have an eight there. Now, nine minus four sevenths. I, let's think about this. Let me make a little tape diagram up here. And I'm gonna make these sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. How many sevenths do I have? Well, you'll see one. I'm going to go ahead and make them all, color them all in. And we're going to subtract four sevenths. How many am I left with? Three sevenths, right? But the nine is going to be less, right? It's going to become an eight, just like on other tape diagrams, and we're left over with three sevenths. Ooh, pretty tricky. Now, over here, wow, this one's super tricky. Okay, let's go ahead and make a tape diagram to just show what this is going to look like. All right, now, that's a lot of tape diagramming. How could we do this? Let's break this into maybe we could do... Uh, boy, I gave you a real tough one here. Think about it this way. Four-sevenths is greater than three-sevenths, right? So we're going to wind up with a seven. And... If we think about the seven, if we, we, we had our four sevenths, excuse me, our three sevenths, and we, well, let's do it like this. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do a tape diagram, I am. Go ahead and follow along with me. Let's make these sevenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, we have three sevenths. Let's say we had eight over here and three sevenths. And this is going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven would be right here. Pretend we had six more or seven more over here. Now and we subtract four. One, two, three, four. How many sevenths am I left over with? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be seven and six sevenths. Tough one. That's like middle school. We'll keep going on, and our last section says, um, solve using number bond, draw a number line to represent each number sentence. The first one has been done for you. Well, some of you don't have the problem set, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what they've done. So we have four minus one third. Okay, we're not going to use um, the um, tape diagrams. What we're using is a number line and number bonds. So let's get right to it. So here's how we use a number bond. We have four minus one third. The four is gonna become a three. And what would I have to do for a fraction over here? Three thirds. Do you see why? So I have a three and three thirds. So now all I could do is I could take the three thirds and subtract the one third. So what's three thirds minus one third? It's two thirds. And what am I left over with here? A three. How can that be? How can be, you might say. Well, think about it like this. Num uh, number line. We're going to start off with three. 
We're going to end with 4. We have 3 and 4. Now, I'm going to break this into thirds. 3 and 1 third. 3 and 2 thirds. Okay? So I have 4 and I'm subtracting 1 third. Boo! Minus 1 third. There we have it. 3 and uh, 2 thirds. Let's try our 5 here. We're going to break our 5 up into a 4. And so we can subtract, we need that same unit, right? We need the same denominator, 3 thirds. Isn't this just 4 plus 1 is 5? Right. But now I can do 3 thirds minus 2 thirds. 3 minus 2 is 1. Same denominator, and now we have a 4 and 1 third. Don't believe me? Let's go to the number line. The number line never lies. So we're going to have a 4 here. 5 here. This is our starting point, right? 5 minus 2 thirds. We're going to break this into thirds. 4 and 1 third. 4 and 2 thirds. And that's what it looks like. So I start with my 5, and we're going to subtract 2 thirds. 1 third, 2 third. Right? Minus 2 thirds, and we're left with 4 and 1 third. Kind of a difficult math lesson today, and I wish I had more time to spend with you. Make sure you get in your IXL 25 minutes, and as well as your Imagine Learning 25 minutes. Be sure to check your social studies section class today. We're going to start on kind of a fun project, at least I think it is. And uh, um, I hope to see you real soon. Bye for now.